Let's step back to the Unity Editor for a moment. When we're displaying a mesh in Unity, what components do we need to make that happen? Okay, so this is a little model of a jet ski I made a while ago. So what's it made up of and how is it displayed? So this model is actually made up of two meshes, a base and a handle. If we have a look at the handle, looking at the components on the right here, we've got a few things here. First, we have a transform, like every other game object in Unity. And below the transforms, we have a game component called Mesh Filter. Now, the Mesh Filter has a mesh variable here, which we can change if we like. So let's see what happens when we change the mesh. If we change it to a cube, you see, obviously, it changes to a cube, capsule. Um, or the base, let me put it back. So I'd like you to take a look below the mesh filter here. We've got another component called mesh renderer. So let's unfold that. Now what happens if we toggle this on and, on and off? So the handle's no longer displayed. So to display a mesh in Unity, we need both a mesh filter and a mesh renderer. The mesh renderer also has an array of materials here too. Let's have a little bit of a play with these. So we start changing these. You can see the color changes. Um, the material is changing. So we've actually got some control in the mesh renderer of what what color things can be. Each of these materials relates to a sub mesh of this model. If we have a look at the base of the jet ski, it might become a bit clearer. As you can see, they change color and such. Now let's have a look at what happens when we remove materials from the array. So if we resize this array down to four from eight, we have a closer look. As you can see, the parts of the mesh aren't being rendered. It's important to be aware of that. So a sub mesh won't render unless it has a material assigned to it. So let's undo all of our changes here. What we need to take away from this in regards to the mesh builder that we're making is that we need to populate these components correctly to get the mesh to display in Unity in the way that we want. 